Hi, we're going to be looking at how do I find the golden zone on my guitar. Essentially the golden zone is that space between C and C on a piano, the middle C and the C above. Maybe go slightly beneath that, so maybe down to a B, maybe an A on the low end, and then on the top end going up, maybe I'm going to go up to an E, but that's absolute top, so I don't want to go above an E. And I definitely don't want to sit on an E for a lot of the song. If that's going to, that note's going to keep coming back, then I need to lower that down. And the reason for doing this is that most folks, on an average, not every individual, but most people can sing within that fairly restricted range. And so when we're doing our worship songs, we want to sing them in a range that the most people can join in. Um, on my acoustic guitar, essentially, if I can play the melody on this high E string between the nut and the 12th fret, possibly going on to the string below, but not beneath the nut, then I'm fairly confident that this song is going to be in the golden zone, and that I'm not going to have to worry about whether the congregation can sing it or not. Let's do an example. If I want to sing the song Amazing Grace, and so I find, say I want to play it in D, and I say, okay, well, where's my D chord? I play my D chord. That means I can pitch it, so now I go, Amazing Grace. Try and find that melody on my fretboard. Grace, how sweet the sound. Now my, my next note is going to go off the fretboard. It's going to go past the nut. What that tells me is on the low end, this song is too low. Only just, but it's too low. Really, to try and do Amazing Grace in D, when we get to that note, everyone's going to be, Oh, it's like singing out the bottom of their neck, and that's not going to be great. So now, let's try it in E. So I find my E chord, um, and I go, Amazing grace, how sweet, sweet the sound. Okay, so now, that note is just the open string there. So now I know, okay, I'm not going past B, I'm not going too low off the bottom end. Guys aren't going to be singing out their chests. They're going to be able to sing that note. Now, obviously on the low end, it's a problem. We also have to think about the high end. Um, in the Amazing Grace, I once was lost. It's probably about as high as it goes. So... So here is probably about as high as we're going to go. Now, if this is an E, that's a D, that's a C. That means we're only hitting a B at the bottom and at the top. That tells us something interesting about the range of Amazing Grace. It's basically we're working within an octave. That means it's quite a big range to this song. And that can be a problem if you've got a song with a big range. But it does mean at least we know where we're going with that. So now, in the key of E, I'm going from a B to a B, which is my uh, fifth note of the key of E. That means I can probably put it into G, and my fifth note in G is D, and that means that if I'm singing right up to the top, I'm still not even hitting that E, which is kind of the, the real high ceiling of, of the golden zone. I'm going to be hitting a D. Now, most people wouldn't start Amazing Grace in G. They might start it in E and then key change up to G. Uh, but you could. So if you're going G. Amazing Grace, how sweet. Now, we already know the low end's going to be fine. The sound and says, a wretch like me. So there we got our me is a D. Um, I once was lost, but now I found I was blind, but now I see. So everything else is below that. That's our top note. It's the D. Again, it's under the 12th fret, so I know it's safe. I'm in a safe area there. Admittedly, if that note was going to come in a lot, I might not be comfortable throwing it in right that high, but it's okay. It only comes once or twice in the song, so it's not going to be stretching people out too much. And that means that in the key of E, E flat, E, F, F sharp, or G, Amazing Grace is going to work for most people most of the time. And that's all this golden zone thing is. It's just a way of finding out what's going to work for most people most of the time. Hope that's helpful.